So warm welcome to our new release session around Agile OS Base System 12.6.0 from February 2025. And as usual, I have my very kind co-worker, Christian Werner from Product Management, who will deliver to us the latest news around this new release. Christian, how are you doing today? Quite good, and thanks a lot for the introduction. And of course, always a pleasure to be part of the Agile community to tell you some details about the enhancements of our Agile OS 12 base system. So thanks a lot, and yeah, we can start. So of course, in this session, we will go through the latest enhancements, um, of course, security updates and new functionalities features introduced in this release. As always, we are offering new unique features paired with ported features from former firmware series and an optimized user experience with new UI elements. So yeah, then uh, let us start. And we are starting with one of the core components, which is the kernel. And so the IGLS base system has been upgraded to a Linux kernel 6.6.60, which is of course part of the long-term support series. Um, this update includes all the latest security patches, so that, that was the main reason. But um, for us, it's important that we are ensuring that the system remains protected from newly discovered vulner vulnerabilities, a hard word. Um, and of course, in addition to security improvements, this update also enhances hardware compatibility, enabling support for new devices and peripherals as well. In general, by keeping the kernel up to date, we ensure that IGLS remains stable and secure with best possible hardware support. And that paired with further, with further relevant security updates, in this case, libssl3, openssl, curl, and many more. So please see all details in the corresponding change log of this release. Okay, then um, the next point is the improved handling for OS 12 deployment and also secure boot support for Pixie deployments. So the OSC, the OS creator handling has been separated, making making it more efficient, efficient for deploying HLOS 12 in an unattended way. Um, this is possible via OSC unattended, um, only offered per request for a direct OS 12 installation via USB without any necessary user interaction. This performs a shutdown after installation, but for any other kind, for installation via OSC for Windows, um, virtual deployments, a reboot will be performed for a more seamless deployment as system starts then directly from the local disk. And also worth to mention is of course, secure boot is now supported when using Pixie. So a network, <clears throat> Installation or net, network um, related installation for adding an additional layer of security during network based deployment of IGLOS 12. And yeah, with these two improvements, we are simplifying the installation process for OSC for Windows, uh, OSC unattended, and Pixie deployment. Then um, to a complete new feature, this is the advanced notification and customization. So users, um, of course, admins most of the time can now select or suppress notifications based on type, reducing clutter and uh, distractions. One feedback we have received over the time that we are showing a lot of notifications, which is basically always better than showing too less. But of course, we are using the feedback to make our product better. And therefore, we are offering that feature now. Um, this allows IT administrators to fine tune the user experience, ensuring that only relevant alert, alerts are shown can be configured per severity level. Also notifications can be suppressed, which require user interaction. And uh, furthermore, it can be selected if suppressed notifications are then shown in notification panel. So it makes it quite easier and um, definitely offers nice options to modify the show notifications on IGL OS. This is very good. I mean, talking about Mac OS or even Windows, I'm using them from time to time. And the notification bars over there are still un unusable because you're getting too much information in one place and usually they're overlapping themselves. So it's good that we have an ability to configure them now on Azure OS. Just a small note for everyone who is listening. We are working for Azure, so we have to sell also our product. The one mention that I want to give here is that this notification configuration is not covering the license warning that you are getting if you are getting out of subscription. This is important to know. Um, if you have any question on that topic, drop us a note in the Azure community and we are happy to take over the discussion. But I just thought it might be good to mention it here. But again, very good feature and glad that it made its way to this 12.6.0 uh, version. 
of course, and as you mentioned, so the license notifications are mandatory to be shown. And but uh, overall, this brings more control over system notifications and improves, of course, also the user experience. Um, the next thing is um, partly ported, but also enhanced. That's the option to schedule app or base system updates. Users can now define cron jobs to automate app updates at specific dates and times. And of course, this ensures that um, updates are deployed without manual intervention and minimizing downtime. And furthermore, so devices that support RTC wake, that's the real-time clock wake, can wake up from suspend mode to perform these updates, ensuring that updates are applied even outside working hours. So schedule automated updates, which reduces the need for manual maintenance, and the enhancements in regards of using RTC wake um, is uh, definitely super nice, but this will be offered as experimental features. RTC wake is hardware dependent. So not possible to perform on all platforms. And for that, feedback, of course, is here very welcome. The easiest way for that, as you know, is via the IG community. Then the next point, um, as you know, with Agile OS 12, we are offering always a good mix of new and ported features. So always in the 12.6.0, we have a few ported features on board. One is the AD auto logon. So users can now predefine credentials for active directory authentication, streamlining the login process. This feature simplifies um, basically user access in managed IT environments allowing seamless integration with enterprise directory services and um, the Kerberos ticket can be also used in applications. Of course, if application supports that is configured to use the tickets. Overall, this provides an improved authentication workflow with automated login to active directory. And the other ported feature is the MAC address password. So this was initially implemented in Azure OS 11, now also available for OS 12. Um, basically a feature for usage of docking stations, ensuring that the original MAC address of the laptop is used even when connected to a dock. This simplifies networking and security policies, particularly in environments where devices need to be identified by their MAC address and are used in a mixed, in a mixed way, so with connected dock, but also in a direct connected way without docking station. And one further UI UX topic to make Agile OS 12, of course, the fanciest and easiest to use operating system. Uh, in this case is the added point, the generic form dialog with this update. Um, basically, it was already introduced in the 12.5.1 rolling release. We have implemented a standardized uh, design for user dialogues. This means that all user interaction forms, such as login and password prompts, will now follow a consistent and unified layout. This ensures a standardized uh, design for user dialogues, improving the user experience, which is one of our core targets of IGL OS 12 and the corresponding updates. So this is just the beginning, and we plan to expand this functionality further in further updates so that more and more applications can use the generic form dialog. Okay, and of course, no stable release, no Agile OS 12 stable release without enhanced hardware support. In this version, we added the official support for further professional headsets from our partner Poly for ensuring compatibility with a range of professional audio devices. So of course, also the list will then be shown, the complete list will then be shown in the Agile knowledge base. So we had already some supported devices, now we are enhancing the list and the possible audio devices to use in a supported way. Also worth to mention, but not really related to Polo, to Poly, um, we have also modernized our local webcam tool. This is now QCam with the option to select and test more than one webcam. Definitely worth to test and to check this release of our HLS 12.6.0. And yeah, that's it. So thanks a lot for your attention. And thank you, Christian and team, for all the work that you delivered. So looking now in direction of 12.7, right? Exactly. And of course, so of course, we will first have the 12.6.1, so the rolling release, but then of course, also the 12.7.0, um, the 12.7.0, just as a short outlook, will then contain a completely new kernel. That will be then the 6.12 LTS, of course. 
Very and good. also so, looking forward to the 12.6.1, yes, there are also some nice enhancements. Very good. And if you want to know which enhancements, please join us on our next session and on join.igcommunity.com as well if you're not part of our wonderful Azure community yet. Thank you all. See you next time and take care. Thanks a lot. All the best. See you.